this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross! Last time, we needed to find the chief in order to get these guys to start their little experiment upstairs in order to move on with the game here. Oh, Balthazar's in charge of the place, alright! Well, let's pay him a visit, or... Oh, I wonder where he went. Hmm. Well, I know where he went, but I'm not going to tell you. You probably could have figured it out by now. Oh, yeah. Alright, so now he's going to go back there so we can head on up to the fourth floor. Now, this is a minor spoiler, but I don't know where it is, but I could have sworn someone around here said that Lynx is already here and that he had a girl with him. And so that to allude to us that, hey, the bad guy's already here ahead of us. I don't know where that person is. I forget. But I could have sworn someone said something like that. But yeah, he's here. I mean, I know Harley said something like Lynx was already here, but like if he's already here to get the frozen flame, why didn't he do that like ages ago? Like right when he stole my body? I, I don't get it. I mean, it's clear he had access to the place. Now we have access to this room. Because, yeah, the experiment's starting, the guards left. Yay! What's with all these record of fates here? Or records of fate, I guess. I guess these guys make them, huh? Thanks for all the safe states. The main computer of Chronopolis. Fates! Yeah, if you haven't guessed it by now, anytime they use fate in caps, or sometimes even without the caps, they're referring to the fate computer system. It manipulates, well, everything, apparently. Uh, all I know, at least at this point in the game, is that they were apparently from 2400 AD. Somehow they got back here, we don't know yet, and they don't want to, I mean, they want to keep an eye on everything, I guess, but they don't want to, uh, what is it? They, they want to avoid any disruptions in the timeline that the computer system knows. Because otherwise, well, that would be bad. Fate might not be created in that alternate future. So, there you are. Well, then why did you allow Poor to come here? Huh? And even, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they were, like, invading the place and everything. Hmm. Oh. Well, that's no good. Or, well, yeah, I mean, I guess that's good for us, but, yeah. Oh, so that's why he was there. Well, let's talk to some of these other guys around here. The observation room. Apparently, they're already aware of the two parallel universes. So, yeah, yeah, fate is the computer system. There we go. wonder where they got everything for this stuff. Oh, so Mother Brain was part of this computer, too, huh? From the, uh... Uh, Geodome, or Genodome, that's it, yeah. Wow. What a computer system. It controls pretty much everything. It kind of reminds me of Dinah in Crystallis there. Hey, can I open the chest? Thank you. And we get the card key that will allow us to access the basement. Oh, I've got some burns that I need to take care of, I guess. Huh? Oh, these must be some, like, instructions or something it's giving to people. It tells people, you know, fate can control what people think, what people feel, and everything like that. Sort of like the Matrix, except, I guess, more involved in controlling people, I guess. Hmm. Kind of like Labos, huh? kid. Oh, so they were even controlling her or something about that. What, what about the Radical Dreamers? Who's talking to her? Oh, and Surge? Who's Majel? And Lynx? I'm surprised Guile doesn't have any uh, different dialogue here, 
or anything special, but yeah, these are logs from apparently other parallel universes. There aren't just the two, but apparently, uh, well, we only have access to the two of them, but yeah, it's an acknowledgement of what happened in Radical Dreamers there. Majel was Guile in that game, but, uh, well, they scrapped that project, I guess. So now let's head on to the basement floor with the card key. It'd be a good idea to make a backup save file about now, just for future reference viewers. And we can't enter the experiment room while they're conducting their little experiments. So now we got these two guys to deal with, so I'll take care of them off screen and heal these burns and everything. Okay, take care of those guys. Let Fargo have a smoke. Let's go inside here then. Only the Arbiter can get inside. Crap. Who's the Arbiter? Whoa! That's some extreme security system, but might as well give it a try. Project Kid? What does she have to do with any of this? But before you can enter, you must answer me these questions three. No, no, just kidding. Oh, all right. Looks good. So I am the Arbiter. Or the one chosen by the flame. The Chrono Trigger. So yeah, that's why uh, Lynx needed to steal my body, because it does a DNA scan, or you die, just like they did in Homeworld. But he's already inside with the frozen flame. Whoa! So that's what the frozen flame looks like. Doesn't exactly look frozen, but well, I guess it's frozen in place. Who's there? Well, there's Kid. Lying on the ground for some reason. I don't know why. Lynx at last! Huh. I wonder if that has something to do with Lavos. Hmm. Well, we'll find out more about the Frozen Flame later. Oh, well, robot guards aren't that good, you know? Is Kid alright? Unconscious! Exactly as I planned! What do you care about talking to us? Who are you? Who are you? Are you me? <laughs> no, no, uh, Lynx is fate, essentially. Or a living interface for fate. So, yeah, yeah. He's the bad guy, or he works for the bad guy. Or, well, he is the bad guy, yeah. Like I said the first time. Oh, yeah, we kind of know all about this, so I'll just kind of go through it a little quickly. Yeah, so I was attacked by a panther demon. They couldn't heal me. Or, well, we didn't know how to heal me. So they went to Marble. But they got blown off course in a storm, sent here, found the frozen flame, and I got healed. Oh, and their security system was offline because of the storm, so that's how we got inside in the first place. Ah, well, I'm sorry, you could have just asked. Well, yeah, they probably didn't want to interfere with the timeline, I guess. I guess fate uses the frozen flame as like a, uh, what is it, like a power source or something, but apparently there's another circuit in fate, or within fate. I don't know what this has to do with anything, but okay. Uh, Luca's last name is Ashed here, just so you know, viewers. I don't know if they gave anyone else last names when they, like, uh, retconned this or whatever. I don't know. Ah, oh, that's a pretty clever circuit Luca made there. She was pretty mad for me. Ah, oh, so... Luca and Balthazar were both in on it, huh? Or creating this place. Prometheus? Yeah, yeah, Robo's circuits are a part of fate, but I guess it's designed to start a rebellion within fate or something. Um, okay, how do we pull that one off? You're not gonna tell me, are you? 
They're gonna kill Robo! He was my favorite character to use in the last game! Ah, uh, well, i uh, do the best I can. No pressure there, Surge. Crap. Lynx! You're mine now! Can we defeat him? No. Fate! Once and for all? Fighting out next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. Whoa!